Hey, y'all. I did something the other day. I made me some magnets. Check it out. So that's all my stickers. Took them off the fridge, some of them. Some of them I just got, and I made magnets out of them. There we go. So that way, I don't lose my stickers if something happens to the fridge. But that's not what this video is about. Let's talk about a little minor adjustment or upgrade, if you will, that I made to Noella May back in October. All right. Happy Thursday to y'all. Well, again, in true transparency, it's Tuesday. I'm recording uh, for this week's video. I'm doing another little, little ride along to work. Um, now, I know I started a series last week on Phil and Station Gourmet, and I'm going to continue with that series. It's just this next place I'm going to, I'm doing a little research on it, and I didn't have time to get the video done and you know get it edited and everything in, in time for Thursday, so we're going to stretch this series out a little bit and, and see where we go with it. So I want to just do a little ride along to work. I haven't done one of those in a while. We're taking a different way to work today. And actually, I'm going back to work from lunch. I had to run home for lunch. But I wanted to talk about a upgrade or an addition or modification, whatever you want to call it, to Noella May that I did back in October. Now, I had started recording this video some time ago in hopes to save it for the winter months. Uh, we have mild winters here, I've mentioned it before, but we do get some time where I won't be able to ride a whole lot. And I was gonna hold it for that, but I decided, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, and release it. Um, so I started recording this video, I started doing it in the garage, and I think I've mentioned before, I, I'm not too crazy about the talking head thing. I mean, I'm a motovlogger. I, I've started to kind of come to, to grips with that, and, and basically that's where I want to go with my channel, is to do motovlogging and ride videos. And, and not to say that I won't do some talking head stuff, but this is kind of what I do. I feel more comfortable talking to you guys while I'm on the bike. But we are going to stop and I'm going to we're going to take a look at this modification. Uh, the second part of that is is I got some great advice from another content creator on this type of stuff. They do a lot of uh, work with vendors and um, I don't know if it's a sponsor, but they partner with some different people. And you know, one of the pointers he gave me was you know sometimes they want to see their their product you know kind of out in the wild, not really cooped up in your garage. And let's be honest, the pig pen. Is, is not the prettiest place uh, in the world. So after reviewing the footage, I'm like, you know, I can do better than this. So I decided I'm gonna get out because this is not gonna be an install video. Uh, it's a very simple install. But the purpose of this video is to show you this modification upgrade, whatever you wanna call it, and show you how easy it was to install. Matter of fact, I did this back in October when I was down in Daytona for uh, Biketoberfest. And what I'm talking about is a backrest. Now, I had really never really thought about a backrest. I'd seen people have backrests, and I'm like, yeah, that's nice, but I don't really need that. That's something for long trips. And typically when I do my long trips, uh, I'm moto camping. And I usually have a lot of gear piled up on the back seat in my sea bag, and that provides me a backrest when I'm riding. So I don't really think about a backrest. But this trip down to Daytona, I didn't have my stuff with me because I stayed in a hotel. So my back seat was empty. And that 700 or so miles down, it, it got me. It got to my back. I've had a lower back injury in my life. And uh, every once in a while, I need to be able to push back on something. And, and that, that kind of put a toll on me. So this backrest, while I was down there, I said, I'm going to pick one of these up. So while down in Daytona, I went into JMP Cycles. And you know, went back to the counter, told them what I was looking for, told them I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, and they found exactly what I needed, and it's a product by Hogworks, and maybe I'll put a picture of the sticker that was in the box, it's really cool. So I bought this backrest at JMP, and I believe it was like $179, again, I'll, I'll, if it's different, I'll post it in here, but I'll also have a link to the description of the product below. Um, but it's by Hogworks, and it's just a simple, you know, oval backrest um, and a very easy install. I did this install in the parking lot of Destination Daytona during the rally. Um, and that itself was uh, challenging, I should say, because it was blazing hot and not a 
you know, a scrap of shade anywhere. But I use the tools that I carry with me, um, my simple little tool kit. Um, pretty much all you really need is some sockets, um, a star head, uh, you know, like Allen key, uh, or it could be a socket as well. Uh, I think I use the star head. Um, and a couple crescent wrenches or pliers, and it went together pretty easily. Uh, the only, you know, another thing I had, you know, of course, every mechanic in Daytona for the rally was walking by, hey, is everything all right? Can I give you a hand? And I appreciate it. Uh, bikers are great like that. But no, I just wanted to get it done. It was blazing hot. But it went pretty easy. I think I did it maybe in a half an hour. Super easy little install. So we're going to stop, and I'm going to show you this backrest, uh, show you, you know, how easy the install is, because we can really just look at it. Now, I will say, when I got home, I did uh, take it apart, and again, Harley Davidson personal massager. I like to use a little, you know, blue Loctite on all my connections. So I took it apart, which was basically, you know, five bolts, and uh, applied some Loctite. So again, about this backrest, you know, it's it's not the Gucciest of upgrades. Uh, you know, it's not serial lights. It's not you know Avon Black, you know, fenders um, or Clockworks windshield. It's a simple backrest. Uh, but I'm telling you, you know, when I put it on the bike, you know, my intention was okay. I'll get this for road trips when I'm not moto camping and I need something to lean back on, and I could just slide it out, you know, put it in the tour back or put it on the shelf when I'm just commuting. But I have left this backrest on my bike um, right now uh, I'm, I'm sitting here on the highway I've got my feet you know kind of against my highway pads and just leaning the back against it and I have noticed a significant difference in my back um, just to be able to have something to lean against when I'm riding so you know call me an old man call me what you will but I'm really digging this backrest so if you don't have a backrest um, I'm telling you this is one of those must upgrades in my opinion if you do any distance type riding or even if you have a, a decent commute um, it can make a difference in your ride and in, in your the enjoyability of your ride um, and it's relatively relatively an inexpensive upgrade and very easy to do something you can definitely do yourself because I know some of you you know this is the season um, you know Christmas is coming you know there's sales online maybe you can pick one up pretty cheap maybe get a better you know deal through JMP or another website um, but also you maybe you'll have your bike down for a little while while it's cold and it's something you can do uh, to your bike um, to make the spring riding season a lot better you know people talk about seats and riding and you know I, I still run you know the stock ultra seat on my bike and it's a very comfortable seat for me but this backrest has made a world of difference so we're going to get down here to the park i'm going to show you guys uh, this backrest on to Wella may pop the seat off show you how easy it was to install so we'll get down here we'll take a look at it and see what you guys think We're here at the Chesapeake City Park, and I'm using my phone. I didn't bring my little muff thing for my GoPro, so hopefully the wind's not too bad. But we're gonna take a look at this backrest. So, and this is a great location. If you guys can see, got a freaking American flag back here in the background. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's a gorgeous day here too. So let's take a look. pouch back here on the back um, and then you can zip it open put you know, documents or your phone or whatever in there um, and it also velcros on and off so I mean you can take it off if you want to but it's kind of a cool little pouch maybe your pastor could put their phone or whatever but this backrest pretty much lifts right out and you just put it away for storage whatever you want to do so we're gonna pop the seat off here I'm not gonna show you how to do that if you don't know how to take your seat off just stop what you're doing and take your bike to the dealer so we'll get it off and I'll show you how this thing All right, so we have the seat off here. And as you can see, it's just a pretty simple bracket. This is the whole bracket here. Um, and this is kind of a universal fit bracket, I'm sure. 
um, because you have a couple different holes here to line it up also to position this backrest to where you want it I kind of just eyeballed it and guessed and I got pretty lucky so you have um, four bolts to mount the bracket you have these two back bolts here um, and actually these are your fender nuts so you just pop those off now it comes with new nuts I just put the stock nuts back on there they're uh, a nice set of nuts which that's what she said <laughs> but anyway nice set of nuts here um, so I'll put the stock ones back on and then the front part of the bracket here just you pull out these two stock uh, screws um, and again it's star head or you can put a socket on it um, and then this thing right here you have a slider again to, to adjust it to your bike and then a bolt that goes through there so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward now the backrest actually slides into the slot um, and you can do that through the slot in your seat there we go so there is a set screw here in the front that you can adjust just so you can hear your clicking and that way it holds it in place um, now to adjust the backrest you know the pivot you know lean it forward and back you have this bolt back here and you pretty much just screw it up and down and it will adjust the tilt of this for your you know the way you feel so the best thing to do is just set the seat on put the backrest in sit on it you know don't bolt your seat down and then that way you can pull it off and adjust this as necessary so it's pretty straightforward like i said i did it in the parking lot pretty easy install um noelle may is nasty but that's cool um because she's ridden and she's loved but that's pretty much it so i'm gonna throw the seat back on and well that's it so I am going to get back to the uh, filling station gourmet uh, just again like I said you know just didn't have the time this week to prepare um, the video that I want to uh, show you guys but I wanted to show you this backrest and kind of give you my thoughts on it I I'm a huge fan of it it does make a difference even with commuting as well as the long trip it was a, a lifesaver coming back from Daytona so I'll link everything below um, through JP Cycles, Hogworks. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So I'm about to the office and we're gonna cut it short for this week. So with that said, until we talk again, you guys be careful, you guys be safe. Always keep your shiny side up and we'll talk to you next time.